Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are doing a little bit of river rock hounding. We are out in Western Washington. We are in the Olympic National Forest, the National Forest. Now, it's important to draw a distinction here between the National Park and the National Forest. The National Forest, you can go collect rocks in. The National Park, you cannot. So this is National Forest. So good to draw that distinction right away, I think. This is the East Fork of the... Skokomish. Skokomish. I'm gonna screw that up. I'm gonna screw it up right now. Um, so we are out here. You can see the bridge back behind me. Uh, primarily looking for obicular jaspers, obicular jaspers. And I think you already may have spotted one, we'll find out, we'll find out. So basically there is an abundance of kind of brick, brick red jaspers out here where you're like, well, what are you going to do with it? How much brick red jasper does one person need? This stuff, it's more like little dots and orbs and cool bits. So let's look around. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, so I think that's just a piece of jasper yeah. with some quartz going through it. Let's get it wet though, just for the sake of uh, getting it wet. Right here is a neat rock too. So I don't think that that is not a piece of orbicular jasper, but I believe, so we got jasper and quartz, and I think the green out here is going to be an epidote. I think that's what that is. Here's your rock. Oh. oh. There's yours. Yeah. That's kind of neat. Yeah. I don't know if we uh, maybe it. Yeah. It's nice to have some epidote, I guess. Yeah. It is approaching the end of July. We still have plenty of water out here. It's beautiful. It's 80 degrees and we have boots on, but this is a pretty popular place. So it's Brown's Camp. Is that correct, Sarah? Brown's Creek? Br no, Brown, no. The campground. Oh, uh, brown something. Yeah. Oh, we'll put it in here. Anyways, super popular. It's a Saturday. What, to, what do you expect? There's all kinds of people chilling. No. She hates it. <laughs> so I think that's, yeah, that's going to be a piece of epidote. Look at that. Hold on, Lyca. Up it out. When you see the Jasper, it really really stands out. Very bright. Beautiful in here. Let's see, can I get that? Fill up my boots. <laughs> oh, is that a piece of orb? I think that's a good piece. That's very cool. Look at this. Huh. Well, we don't need to get anything more. Yeah, we're gone. That's a nice piece. What, what is that in there? <sighs> is it agate or cork? That's a good question. I'm a little out of uh, my comfort zone, but very the bright. fact that we uh, it's very bright and patterned like that, I think that is worth worth getting, worth taking. Sure. Tiny agate. 
The water looks so blue out there where it's deeper in the sun. Do you want your tiny agate? No. So there's a lot of interesting rocks out here that are brecciated. It's like this piece right here. It's neat, but not like a, a prime example, which that's definitely what you're going for here. What's this? That's pretty green. Um, Let's wash that off real quick. Yeah. Hmm. Oh not gosh. taking that. I'm on there. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of like nice, that uh, doesn't want to come off. bright, brightly colored pieces out here. Let's put that little guy back. What happened, Sarah? <laughs> I already dumped him out once. Gonna be drying those. That thing happened. That thing happened. No, it was too deep. My fault. Let's look at this right here. Poppy Jasper. Really? With the glare of the water, it does have a hard time focusing. Yeah, very nice. Hey, we found one. Oh, yeah, that's very unmistakable. Yeah. Okay. Very unmistakable. Now, if we could only just find a giant one, yes. just, just like that. But hey, we got we got one. It's good. Sorry about your boots. I think there's some smaller pieces in here. I think that was one right there. Yes, it is very unmistakable. Once you see them, they're very they're so distinctive. Yeah, there's little spots in there. So, there's a couple of other bright things out here. So we should scope this as deep as we can go. Or maybe you just fill your boots again. I mean, it can't get more wet. Nope. We're not going to go see any squirrels. Let's move over this way. Huh. It's pretty cool. I haven't... No idea. We're a little out of my comfort zone uh, as far as the geology of the Olympic Peninsula goes. So, but I do know we have, yeah, I threw that there. Oh. <laughs> that's actually chipped off of another piece that's uh. over here. Uh, but we do have a lot of like brecciation out here, a lot of quartzite, epidotes, uh, and some interesting metamorphic rocks. Down there where you can see the light, that's uh, the corner that we couldn't get past. And we've kind of checked all of this gravel. I have uh, successfully filled my two gallon bucket. I feel like this area is gonna be more picked over being that you uh, don't need boots to get down here. But you never know. I mean, uh, just cause uh, we're looking for something doesn't mean other people have been looking for that thing. Uh, I, th I think we did pretty good. We did pretty good. We filled a bucket going to an area that is obviously by... Oh! 
Moody, moody. Uh, obviously hit by other people and somewhat, somewhat often. So I think we're, we're pretty happy with it. We're gonna head back to our camp for this evening and we will look at this stuff kind of all laid out, I think. And then we can determine how well we did. Yeah. Any thoughts? How well did you do? I may have Acceptable. Done, I may have done better for the first time yeah. ever. It's usually you, you're the winner. That's you're the true. one finding all the cool stuff. I just like That's true. aim the camera. Good job. Sorry about your boots. So these are everything we brought back. And like all river rocks, once they dry, they're a little boring until you wet them or cut and polish them. And a lot of these are going to get cut when we get back to the shop. But in the meantime, we will do one of these and we can look at what these look like all nice and wet. Very, very colorful stuff. Almost too shiny now. <laughs> Isn't that always the case? You know, wet things. But uh, overall, quite, quite happy. We are up here at this little camp. It's kind of nice. Um, it is actually a horse camp, but there's nobody here. So we, uh, we're here. They have like, uh, there's like things over there for tying up a horse, but it's just a nice little area, pretty basic. We are back from the Skokomish River, and these are our finds. Um, overall, I think we did pretty well for ourselves. Now, I think it would have been a lot better had we either chosen to uh, swim that really deep part or have chest waders. Yeah. Uh, but for the limited... Uh, Kind of, I guess, space that we had. I think it was pretty good. Like, you know, we got this. Here, let's get this a little more wet here. Like that poppy right there. Which that's very nice. These pieces that have some somewhat large amounts of epidote in them. This very green. Very cool. Now, I do think uh, these are going to have to get really, you know, kind of cut and polished to really appreciate them. And that's something that I can do in the future. I did cut this one right here, which is uh, Jasper with quartz. And you can kind of see it's a, it's a very, very lovely piece. And I assume the large one back there is going to look somewhat similar. Do uh, you have any thoughts on the Skokomish River and the Jaspers out there? Um, it was a good spot. Definitely different than what we're used to. It's fun to see some reds and greens and do some river hunting. You filled a boot with water? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little too deep. It, it, I'm surprised. Okay, so this is a relatively popular place. There's a plethora of people camping out there. And, uh, I, you know, it just goes to show that just because something is a rock hounding locality and people are there, that doesn't necessarily mean people are there for the rocks. People were mostly there to drink beers and hang out, I think. Or they're not there for the rocks that you want. Maybe they're just like picking up things they think look cool versus poppy jasper. Yeah, so we only got this one poppy, this one that's a little like, well, there might be some little bits of poppy, but this uh, 
the other pieces are still really cool. And there will be some high quality photos up on the website for these as well. So you can go check that out. Uh, and there'll be a link down below to that. Would you go back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would go back. I would absolutely go back. I would probably bring chest waders though. Or some swimming trunks. Yeah. I think that would have been more fun had we headed upstream some and uh, did that. Or tried to get at the other access points, but... And what were we there on a weekend? We were. Yeah, all the places where you could access the river had people camping at them, mm -hmm. and we didn't want to walk through somebody's campsite. I would go there on a weekday. Yeah. This is a, a weekday location, maybe, in my opinion. Maybe <laughs> off-season. Off off-season week weekdays. Day. Yeah. Well, I think we'll leave this one here. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate everybody over on Patreon who make this type of content possible. Go check it out. There's a link down below to that as well, and I'll catch you on the next video.